breaking news. IPOP asked South East residents to shun Independence Day celebrations, says Igbo are margin marginalized in Nigeria. The Pro Biafra group stated this in a statement issued on Friday by IPOP spokesman Imapa Afo, claiming that the Nigerian state detests Igbos and has rejected all efforts to treat people of the South East equally. Hello guys, welcome back to Prospect Channel XTV. Thank you for this coming out here. If you're just joining us, please kindly subscribe and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. The indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, has banned celebration of Nigerians' independence anniversary celebrations across the Southeast on October 1st. The Pro Biafra group stated this in a statement issued on Friday by IPOP spokesman Imapa Afo claiming that the Nigerian state detects Igbos and has rejected all efforts to treat people of the Southeast equally. The group further warned the governors of the region and political leaders to shun the celebration. The statement partly read, The global family and movement of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, Ably led by the Supreme Leader Mazin Namdi Kano, hereby call on Biafrans, both home and in diaspora, to shun participation in the Nigerian Independent Day celebration on 1st October 2023. Every sensible Biafran citizen must understand that Nigerian detects Biafrans, particularly Indigo. Nigeria has rejected all our efforts to be treated as equal citizens. Nigeria has marginalized Biafrans, particularly and economically, politically and economically. Since Nigeria has rejected us, we have also rejected Nigeria and their celebrations. The group claimed that Nigeria government and citizens have time after time demonstrated that we are not part of them adding that we must do everything possible to liberate ourselves from the bondage of Nigeria. Even a fool would have come to the realization that Nigeria is not for Indigo and Biafrans. After the, the Shenaran that they called 2023 election. As Nigeria's government plans to celebrate a flag independence from Britain, we advise Eastern Region governors and political leaders to shun the October 1st independent celebration in our region. More so, we advise Biafrans not to attend any independent celebration anywhere without BF within Biafra territory or outside of it. Hence, IPOP has bound the Independence Day celebration and flying of Nigerian flags in any part of Biafra land on October 1st. 2023. If IPOP is so strong as they claim, what are they waiting for before they bring the Biafra or release the Nam de Kano? They shouldn't stop, they should not stop or threaten others who want to celebrate whatsoever. Yes, so Nigeria is a total disgrace that does not obey their own court order. These are reactions from Nigerians. If Caught anyone celebrating Nigeria Independence Day in Biafra land, or we deal with the person mercilessly. The only date you can celebrate is May 30, Biafra Independence Day. Not only in Igbos, show me any development in the north. What about Mazenam the Kanu's release? Don't tell anyone else who can celebrate or not, okay? Even non IPOP have no single reason to celebrate. The zone independence with depending on China loans is within their right to protest, but harmlessly and willingly. Celebrating May 30th is more like it to your tent, O Israel. Well, very good. I don't need to tell me, don't need to tell me that what worth the celebration. Nigerian politicians can only celebrate. What are they even celebrating? Agree with me. I agree with them. That is simple truth. There is nothing to celebrate in Nigeria. 
Okay, guys, these are reactions from Nigerians. So, as IPOP, the indigenous people of Biafra, is bound celebration of Nigerians' independence anniversary celebration across the southeast on October 1st. The Pro Biafra group stated this in a statement issued on Friday by IPOP spokesman Ima Paafo, claiming that the Nigerian state detects Igbos and has rejected all efforts to treat people of the Southeast equally. The group further warned the governors of the region and political leaders to shun the celebration. The statement partly read the global family and movement of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, ably led by the Supreme Court, the Supreme Leader, Mazin Namdekano, please pardon me, hereby call on Biafrans, both home and in diaspora, to shun participation in the Nigerian Independence Day celebration on 1st October 2023. Every sensible Biafran citizen must understand that the Nigerian detects Biafrans, particularly in the Igbo. Nigerian has rejected all our efforts to be treated as equal citizens. Nigeria has marginalized Biafrans politically and economically. Since Nigeria has rejected us, we have also rejected Nigeria and our celebrations. So guys, what's your take on this? Let's hear from you. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Please do not forget to subscribe to this channel if you have not. Thank you.